Hey everyone, I'm just gonna get right into it. What is going on with Ethereum 2.0? Does it feel like you've been hearing about this upgrade for forever? Well, I guess that's because we have. Ethereum 2.0 slash, we're not supposed to call it Ethereum 2.0 anymore, was initially scheduled to roll out in 2020. We're talking two years ago, but it does seem that we might actually be getting close to the transition. Ethereum developer Tim Bico tweeted, it won't be in June, but likely in the few months after. No firm date yet, but we're definitely in the final chapter of proof of work on Ethereum. So in this video, let's take a look at the motivation behind the upgrade. Will we ever see these gas fees go down? And will it be quicker to send and receive funds after the merge? Most importantly, what is taking so long for this upgrade to finalize? And how is this going to affect you as an Ethereum holder? Remember folks, like or subscribe if you're enjoying this content. And please remember to click the notification bell so you're kept up to date with the latest videos from B and Crypto. Okay, enough of that. Let's jump back in. Long, long ago, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin and the Ethereum Foundation announced they would replace the current proof of work mechanism where miners race to complete complex puzzles to validate transactions. Instead, the goal is to move into what is called proof of stake so that transactions become validated through nodes run by stakers. One of the primary motivations for moving to this new system is to cut down on the network's current energy consumption. The Ethereum Foundation claims that Ethereum will use at least 99.95% less energy post-merge, which will help soothe a lot of the environmental concerns many people currently have. Another interesting thing to think about is that with proof of stake, all of the validators will have skin in the game, so to speak. Users will be able to validate transactions based on how many coins or stakes they have contributed to the network, and users who stake more coins have a greater chance of being selected to validate transactions on the network and receive a reward. So the more invested they are, the more influence they have over Ethereum and therefore the more likely they are to act honestly for the good of the network. So that's pretty great. It almost sounds too good to be true. Why don't they just make the merge already? What is taking so long? Well, considering no blockchain has switched from proof of work to proof of stake before, and with how much money is on the line, I guess the developers really just wanna make sure that all of their T's are crossed and their I's are dotted before the full merge. And to be fair, the Ethereum team is making some serious progress. Though we're still using the original chain called the mainnet, which is secured by proof of work. In December of 2020, the beacon chain split from the mainnet. This new beacon chain is running parallel and is using proof of stake. Developers and client teams have also been testing shadow forks where they practice the switch to proof of stake. These shadow forks have allowed the community to practice running their nodes, deploying contracts, and testing the blockchain infrastructure. So hopefully the merge of the mainnet and the beacon chain will happen this summer and Ethereum will officially be a proof of stake system. But hey, if that's not a good enough answer, I'm with you. The developers need to get better at setting realistic predictions for when this will happen. So if and when these two chains merge, what will happen to us as investors and our cryptocurrency? I mean, considering Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by volume, this merge is a pretty big deal. Could this be when Ethereum hits $10,000? What is important to know is that current Ethereum holders don't need to do anything at all. You can just sit back and let the developers do their thing. Once the merge happens, your Ethereum will automatically get converted to this proof of stake version of Ethereum. You can get more involved in the upgrade through staking or helping test the upgrades, but only if you want to, no pressure. One thing to look forward to is that after the merge, anyone who has their Ethereum staked will be able to liquidate their rewards, which will be supremely rewarding. There's also a lot of speculation that we'll see a price increase after the merge as Ethereum will become a deflationary currency 
once operating as proof of stake. Part of the transaction fees will be burned, which will decrease the overall supply. If demand stays the same, hopefully we will get to see Ethereum's price go up. Maybe it will even cross that $10,000 threshold soon. Others are less sure about this merge. There's an extremely high level of crypto expertise necessary to navigate the mitigation process. It is also imperative to be comfortable with the entire process as each step is expensive and potentially risky. Even a simulation cannot wholly predict the crypto economics involved. Even leaders within the Ethereum Foundation have doubts about the merge. Team lead Peter Zlosky has been on Twitter raising some red flags. He said, as good as it feels that we're approaching the merge, I must emphasize that Ethereum is not going in a clean direction. Tangentially, it is achieving results, but is also piling complexity like there's no tomorrow. If the protocol doesn't get slimmer, it's not gonna make it. He also is out there trying to kill our hopes and our dreams that after the merge, Ethereum will be quicker and cheaper. He tweeted, the merge won't make a dent on gas prices or transactions per second. So who really knows? On one hand, it looks like the merge is going smoothly with only a couple years worth of delays. And then on the other hand, maybe there are some problems going on. So will the merge be a good thing or turn out to be rocky? I guess only time will tell. Hey, before we go, are you wanting to add more cryptocurrency to your stack? More Bitcoin? Ethereum? Possibly stable coins. Well, Stormgain is an all-in-one crypto app with 0% commissions. You got it. 0% commissions. Stormgain offers several valuable perks, such as a loyalty program, bonuses for referrals, annual interest on crypto deposits, and using the official app, you can even begin to cloud mine cryptocurrency for free. Join Stormgain, the most complete platform to invest in crypto. Buy, store, trade, exchange, learn, and earn crypto with a single tap. So that's all from me. What do you think about the Ethereum merge? When will it actually happen? Will we see an increase in price? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you all next week.